The Montgomery County Sheriff's Office is renewing its focus on a program designed to make its jail a one-and-done experience. Yeah, the inmate GED programs are a thing of the past for many small jails, but WSLS 10's Bethany Teague found out in Montgomery County. Deputies say it's more successful now than ever. Take on something that looks bad and clean it up, I mean, it looks a lot better. You know what I mean? You see something that you've done. The moments when Jason Whitlock gets to step from here to here, he's in his element. If I get dirty, as I'll get out and clean it. It looks like a new car. His passion has always been working with his hands, but things took a detour when he landed in the Montgomery County Jail. This place is not a place to be. Since then, there has been one thing standing between Whitlock and his dreams, and education. It's hard. I've been out of school for 20 years. Like roughly half the people inside these walls, Whitlock dropped out of school without receiving a high school diploma. For years, the Montgomery County Jail offered a GED program, but when funding got scarce, many jails shut the program down. But Chief Deputy Robbie Hall decided that was something these men and women couldn't afford to lose. Very few of the GED graduates ever came through the doors again. The sheriff's office ramped up the program by implementing peer tutoring and volunteer mentoring last year. Since then, 11 inmates, including Whitlock, have gotten their GEDs. Educators say that's well above the state average. Well, I just try to pull back the tears, of course, because it's so exciting and they should be just so proud of themselves. When that moment comes, it's the beginning of a new life. That's terrible. I didn't know uh, it was cool. Whitlock plans to go to college when he gets out and one day become a welder. In Christiansburg, Bethany T, WSLS 10.